Well then, it's a fancy dress at Cross Flats and I need to run there and I'm also running late so uh, this could be quite interesting to see if I can make it to start the park run. Um, yeah, I'm uh, still down at the canal, we've got about two and a half kilometres to go and it's all uphill. Yeah, this uh, this could be tight for the start of park run so we'll see how I got on. So I'll stop talking there and I'll start running the park run. There we go, so I've got through the rat tunnels, I'm about a kilometre in, still gotta go all the way uphill. I should be the entire I've got 20 minutes now. It's only 10 minutes away I think. Right, had a wee break, now keep running. And I've made it. Made it with about 10 minutes to spare, which is quite good. So it gives me 10 minutes to kind of catch my breath back. As you can see, I'm absolutely boiling after that. It's nowhere near as cold as I thought it was going to be. I thought, oh, my long sleeve shirt will be absolutely fine for this. No, it's not not quite cold yet. <laughs> I'm surprised considering how much uh, fog there is. It's, uh, yeah, visible. It's actually very, very poor here. Uh, I don't know if it's seeable in there. But yeah, it's, it's not great visibility at the moment. But it'll be absolutely fine for the park run. I've at least had a wee warm up run. Well, then, it's not going to make me any faster. But it was good. It has just been pointed out to me. It is very, very good Halloween weather. <laughs> so, should make it a fun run like that if there is lots of folk dressed up. Well, fun for anybody else that's in the park seeing all the different things coming out of the fog. There's lots plenty of people dressed up, so that should be good. Actually, it looks like a good turnout for the race today. Alright, well then. It's a used race again, it's not a race, it's a run. I always nice to see that one. <laughs> but, uh, okay, it should be a good day for it. I've got no expectations of time after last week being really slow and uh, yeah in fact that's the last month or so being slow no idea so I'd probably expect to be something like 27 20 minutes and uh, yeah I'll just cope with that as long as I'm actually running steady that'll do me oh cheers I'm starting as quick as I can go. I'm not fast anymore. No, great. Well done. Cheers. Finished. So, as I was saying there, basically, as I crossed the line, that was not fast. I've got no pace at all. When I actually saw the time, it was actually quite consistent with it. Last week at Sheffield, which is interesting because I thought it was going to be a lot slower than that. But I do think I've kind of settled into this pace now and I'll just accept it. And uh, eventually I'll get faster, but for the moment, 27 to 20 minutes seems to be my time. The run itself actually was it was not bad, a good big turnout. The fog did start to lift. In fact, since the fog's lifted, the temperature's absolutely plummeted. I know it was cooled in a wee bit after a run, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely freezing now. But yeah, the run itself was all right. Ground was a wee bit slippery at a couple of points. It certainly, I was quite, it was quite noticeably slick underfoot. Again, the winter, there's not a lot you can do about it. You can't run in trail shoes or anything like that. They don't provide any grip on the concrete. It's just a case of taking it nice and steady. So to be fair, that does slow you down as well. So I'll um, take a couple of seconds off for that. <laughs> Between the park run and the, the actual run to it, I'm out of energy. I've tried running a few times there. I can only run a wee bit and have to stop again, like now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I'm not much further on than the last video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just take it steady back home. Plus, I said, I'm absolutely freezing now. The temperature's just totally dropped. The fog's a little left it down. Oof. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll just take it nice and steady all the way back now, and uh, hopefully that'll maybe keep me up a wee bit. We'll see. And there we are, I'm back where I started. The run back there was tough. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was tough there, but I made it. I think I've run about 10 kilometres so far today, so not bad. 
Like I say, two weeks in a row I've done that now, the park run. So, uh, yeah, get the distance if nothing else. So, yeah, we'll see how the, yeah, we'll see how things go and if over the next few weeks I can find any sort of time. I'm sure I can, probably. But yeah, we'll see how it goes and then we'll see how it goes ahead in the next couple of races that's coming up because I've got a couple in November, so uh, I'd like to be a wee bit faster <laughs> for them. But we'll see how things are. If this is the pace, this is the pace and I'll just uh, cope with it for the moment. But yeah, let's see what happens next week.